Cancers! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 1st to the 11th, okay? So for those who are new to my channel, hey, thanks for joining. Thanks for checking me out. Um, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you are experiencing or someone that's energetically attached to you or in your immediate environment, okay? So just take that as it resonates and it can be vice versa because it's energy. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading, okay? So Cancers... I gotta be honest, Cancers, the energy I was getting from you is energy that I I don't love to feel with Cancers, okay? Uh, first, I got really distracted energy, really distracted energy. It's like, you can't really focus right now, Cancers. You're having a really hard time focusing. Something has you distracted or, or you're trying to actually distract yourself. I feel like, I gotta be honest, Cancers, it's almost like if I let myself focus, I, I'll start thinking about something I don't want to think about. You know, it's that kind of energy definitely that kind of energy you could be going out a lot more or you could just be trying to keep yourself busy i saw a lot of like hand movements felt a lot of like hand energy um for those where you are wanting to maintain your focus you might just need to get your hands busy on something whether it's like just working with your hands maybe it's cooking painting drawing making music whatever whatever you do with your hands right <laughs> whatever you do with your hands some of you might actually be doing this as distraction distractions for you like i said some of you i feel like want to be distracted feels a little bit like you're in your crab shell cancer i gotta be honest feels a little bit like you're in your crab shell there's a place you're not wanting to go and i feel it because it's interesting and i've, I've talked about this in my videos before when i tap into certain signs i feel when it, the energy comes in i feel it in different chakras depending on the sign sign like pisces i always feel it in the crown and then it sinks me into my heart space cancer for you i always feel it like in my gut and it comes up into my heart chakra your heart chakra feels very closed off it feels very quiet it feels very like closed for business to be honest with, with you so i feel like cancer some of you might have been dealing with something that's just emotionally taxing or dealing with something that's very heartbreaking or something that again it's something that i feel like you just don't want to go there like i just don't want to go there i'm just not going to go there like that's that's kind of how you guys are feeling okay and then i heard black and white i heard black and white um you or someone you're connecting with could just be seeing something as very matter of fact like these are the facts and that's that but there's always gray areas right we know this we know this there's always always there's always gray areas and again this energy of like i just don't want to go there i just don't want to go there i just don't want to look at that matter of fact matter of fact matter of fact but cancers i feel like someone's trying to pull you into looking at this someone is dying for you to look at this i feel like someone's really trying to get your attention like flagging you down quite a bit they might even be blowing up your phone uh they you know they might be blowing up your phone <laughs> I like I wasn't getting any more than that. Uh, someone might be confronting you a lot. It feels a little excessive. It does feel a little excessive, and it's making you like retreat even more and more and more into your crab shell here. Okay, like I'm like I feel like it's almost like multiple calls a day, uh, text after text after text after text. Like five texts later, you're not answering, and they're like, "What the fuck?" You know, it's it kind of feels like that. It kind of feels like that. Um, but cancer is because you don't want to address it. You're not ready. Let's just put it that way. You're not ready to go there emotionally. I feel like it's kind of a sad moment. Whatever it is you need to address cancer, you know you have to, but right now you'd rather be distracted and in your crab shell. Okay? All right. Oh, actually, put this a little lower. I feel like you're just getting my head. All right, there we go. Feels a bit more balanced composition wise okay so let's go ahead and get into your reading by the way i'm using a new deck today at virgo's request they like literally their energy was like no you need to use this deck uh so i use it for scorpio so i'm just gonna keep it for the day santa muerte uh forgive me if i'm not pronouncing that right i can't really roll my r's uh but there's a link below for anybody who wants that deck i'm in love with it already so in love with it already um oh god uh, i almost called you scorpio cancers i'm already getting another energy here of defeat you feel like a situation or a relationship got the better of you? Mm. Got the most of you. Got the big part of you. I think you feel like you gave too much energy to a situation or a person or a relationship. Like it just took a big chunk of your energy away or it took a big chunk of who you are. And you're kind of like, yeah, no. <laughs> I can't, oh God, oh, there's my heart chakra. Ooh. Um, yeah, I can't let that happen. I can't keep giving. Oh, cancer. I can't keep giving. Oh, this is heavy. This is heavy shit, cancer. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. For those who are new to my channel, keep in mind that, or new to tarot even, um, these general, these general, these readings, my, my words are all asked backwards today. These readings are very general, okay? So just keep that in mind. Uh, these messages will not be for everybody. They're for people who really need to hear them, okay? That's how I set the intention before I even get started. So if it's not your message, it's not your message. Clearly someone has to hear this because this is like heavy shit. This is really heavy shit, okay? Um, also, guys, keep in mind we are working with energy. So energy can be vice versa because it's fluid. It's not linear. It's not fixed. So if it's resonating with the roles reverse, just switch them. It's still resonating, right? <laughs> also, guys, don't hang up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Virgo, you have my tongue. What is going on here? <laughs> my mouth is not working. <laughs> all right. Any messages for my cancers? Oh, cancer. I just heard you know what to do. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. You don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. Any messages for cancers regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Any messages for cancers regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Cancer, you're going to have to talk about that gray area. You like... Something about gray area keeps coming up here. Any messages for cancers regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? You know, cancers, I also feel this energy where it's like, you know, maybe you're dealing with another water sign because it's like, it feels very like back, forth, back, forth, back and forth. Uh, where like maybe someone's trying to make it very black and white with you. And you're like, yeah, no. <laughs> like they're just trying to address, oh, that's what it is. Cancer, you're dealing with someone who's just trying to like address facts instead of addressing the real problem. You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, let's say you got a, a situation. Like, let's say it's like an engineerical problem, for example, being very crude in my examples here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And there's an engineerical problem. There are components, very tangible, very, very much there. You can't ignore it. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. However, you put it all together and it creates some kind of problem in the mechanism of how shit works it's almost like they're just talking about the parts instead of the actual problem you understand what i'm saying it's kind of like that any messages for my cancers regarding love september 1st to the 11th any messages for my cancers regarding love september 1st to the 11th i'm gonna do the crystal healing video after this uh, I was going to do it after Virgo, and then Scorpio called me, and I was like, oh, why we'll do cancer while I'm at it. Um, ooh, oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy with the Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. <laughs> Five of Cups and Ten of Cups. These are completely different emotions. Oh, Cancer, I see what's going on here. These are completely different emotions. In this situation, <laughs> damn it, sorry guys. Mm. Cancer, you're gonna have to address this at some point. Um, someone feels like they lost their Ten of Cups. Someone feels like they lost their Ten of Cups or they're losing their Ten of Cups in this situation and that's what needs to be addressed. <clears throat> Others, it's a situation of someone, Cancer, I do feel like it's you. I feel like you're facing a situation where you're chasing your Ten of Cups, but in your chasing your Ten of Cups, someone's losing. In you chasing your happiness, someone's losing here. Oh, Cancer. So take that as it resonates for some. Like I said, someone just feels like they lost their Ten, lost their happy. Others, Cancer, you're chasing your Ten, leaving someone out of five. Leaving someone out of five here. <sighs> you don't want to address it. I can feel it, Cancer. You don't want to address it. <clears throat> Any messages? Oh, and this person, whoever feels like they're losing, whether Cancer, you feel like you've lost the Ten of Cups or you know, you're know you leaving someone in this state, whoever's in this Five of Cups energy, overthinking. Oh my God, I feel so bad for this person. Like overthinking like crazy. Uh, they can't make sense of it. They can't make sense of it. They can't make sense of it. And it's making them so insane. I feel like that's why this person's, yeah, this person's reaching out to you. I think that's why this person's blowing up your phone quite a bit. They can't take it. They can't take it. Any messages for Cancer regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? But you don't want to address it. You're in your crab shell, man. You're so in your crab shell about it. At least you're like, you're not even sitting in your heart chakra with it. 
Jesus. Ace of Cups in reverse. Love, love is gone. It's gone. It's gone. Love's gone. Love is gone. Cancer, either you're getting left here or you're chasing her happy and leaving somebody. Either way, someone's getting left because there is no love in here, here anymore. In here anymore. There's no love here anymore. We only have three cards out and they're all cups. There's no love here anymore. And you don't want to face it. You don't want to address it. Any messages for Cancer? Cancer, I feel like you don't want to address it either out of guilt. Guilt. I'm, I'm getting guilt here. Whoever doesn't want to address it, because it could be vice versa. Cancers, I do feel like it's you who doesn't want to address it, so I'm just going to go with the reading that way. And if it's vice versa for you, Cancer, where you're going crazy because, you know, someone doesn't love you anymore, take that as a resonance, okay? But Cancers, really feel like it's you leaving someone behind here, and it's making them crazy, and the truth is you just don't love them anymore, or the love has been pittered out, love has dried up. Um, and it's like you kind of feel guilty. You kind of feel guilty. Any messages for Cancers? Any messages for Cancers regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Any messages for Cancers regarding love, September 1st to the 11th? Let's see here. Overall energy? Ooh. The Hermit. The Hermit in reverse, which is Virgo energy. So someone has definitely done a lot of thinking about this. Underneath that, we have, is this the Seven? Yeah, Seven of Cups upright. Scorpionic energy? Wow. And then we have the Three of Wands, Aries energy. So Cancers, overall, this is an energy of realizing that there's a lot of options in the world here. Cancers, I feel like you're leaving a situation or a commitment behind. It's making someone feel at a major loss and they're going crazy here. There's just not love here anymore. But it's because that you realize you have a lot of options in front of you and you want to seize them with that Three of Wands energy. You can see a lot of doors opening for you, but you feel kind of confined. You feel like you can't seize them. You feel like you can't go after them because of this commitment that you're in or because of this person. And you, God, it sounds so terrible, but you feel like this person's dragging you down. You feel like this person's dragging you down and it's, it's sad. It's unfortunate, but you know, some, Sometimes we're in relationships for a short amount of time, a long period of time. Not all relationships are meant to last. Not all commitments are meant to last. Sometimes they're just there to help us grow. And then we grow and then doors start to open. And Cancer, your doors are opening. Your doors are opening and, you're, and you know, oh God, this sucks. You know you got to leave this person behind. And you, there, you, there's not even really love here anymore. This person really is having a hard time coping with this. And you feel really guilty. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I was like, Clyde, do you have something to say? Uh, let's look at this Five of Cups and then we'll look at this Ace of Cups in reverse. Can you use Rider Wait for this one? Tell me about the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person is kind of like grasping at straws almost. Like, well, what about this? And you said this, and we did this. Remember when we did, like, you know, again, like the parts of things instead of like the actual problem. And the actual problem is there's no love here anymore. It's like the one thing they're not willing to admit, which is why it's so hard for you to, to deal with this situation. And to keep in mind, Cancers, this can be vice versa. Like, this is a hard situation for anybody. I don't envy, envy anybody who this is resonating with. Um, and as a reader, like, I really try not to take sides here. And this really feels like a lose-lose almost. Like, yeah, someone's getting out because they are they have options or they want to explore options or they know that a lot of doors are opening for them and they have a lot of success ahead for them. And the other person feels like, the other person is feeling like they're getting left in the dust with nothing. Shitty place to be. Shitty place to be. Okay? But also, guys, we can't take responsibility for other people. You know what I mean? It's like, God, I really hate saying this, but this is just how this feels. It... Clyde, sorry, Clyde, thank you. Um, it almost feels like cancer, doors are opening for you because you allowed them to open, because you put energy towards those doors opening. You could have even been manifesting these doors opening. I think this person wasn't really doing that for themselves, you know? And it's like, unfortunately, it feels a little bit like a codependence energy that I'm getting from this person. They made you their whole world you made them a part of your world, if that makes any sense. You can't take responsibility for this person or feel guilty because this person didn't put themselves as a priority. You understand what I'm saying? No, oh, this sucks. Okay, let's keep it going. 
Okay, so I got the Five of Cups. Talk about the Five of Cups for Cancer. Talk about the Five of Cups for Cancer regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Talk about the Five of Cups for Cancer regarding love. Yeah, someone's fallen hard on their ass here. Someone literally is, like, Cancer, this person literally is going from the 10 to the 5. That's a hard fall. And it's an emotional fall. It's an emotional fall. Talk about the Five of Cups for Cancer. Cancer, I feel you. I wouldn't want to face this situation either. This is hard. Talk about the Five of Cups. Talk about the Five of Cups for Cancer. And Cancer, if you're on the receiving end of this, I am sorry. I'm really sorry. It happens. Five of Cups. We have Seven of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Yeah, that, exactly what I'm saying. Cancer, while doors are opening for you because you allow these doors open, you put energy towards these opportunities. And by opportunities, I don't mean like, you know, people to date. That could be the case if that's your thing. Um, I just mean like doors of opportunity. Like, like little seeds that you planted for things that you really wanted for yourself, things that were important for you to have. And Three of Wands, they're coming. You know they're coming. And you know you can't be held back from these opportunities. But this person didn't plant those seeds. That's why they have a Seven of Cups in reverse. They don't have other options here. Oh man, talking about Five of Cups. Talking about Five of Cups for Cancer regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Let's see here. Ooh. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire with the Moon. Piscean energy also can't Syrian for me as a reader. I just feel a lot of emotion with this energy. I feel like a delivery? What is this? Hold on, what is this energy about? Following their heart. <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah? What's up? Is it feeding time? You have an hour. You got an hour. Sorry, he's begging for food. Anyway, Cancers, this person who's falling hard, falling hard emotionally, they don't really know what else to do but follow their gut and follow their heart. But unfortunately to them, you're their heart. And they don't really know what to do beyond that. They really don't know what to do beyond that. Um, and I think that's why they're blowing up your phone so much. Yeah. They don't, they don't know how to not chase you. You are literally their only option right now. Tell me more about the Five of Cups. Oh, 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 hold on. No, 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 no. Get down, down. Sorry, guys, sorry, Cancers. <laughs> okay. Talking about Five of Cups for Cancer regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Talking about Five of Cups for Cancer regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. That's it, overall energy, Four of Swords. Good, 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 good. Four of Swords, Libra energy, this is a break, oh. Oh, yeah, eek, 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 eek. Four of Swords with the Knight of Swords, Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Cancer, I think you've been on a break from this person. Four of Swords tells me there's been some kind of a, you know, you could have been like, hey, let's take a break from each other. Let's just like take a time out. And now it's like you're realizing in this break, oh, I actually need to break this off. You know, it could be that kind of energy. But Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it's basically saying a no, like a hard no, like, like, I can't do this anymore, or I can't, oh, this is sad. I can't do this anymore. I don't want a new start with you. I can't have a new start with you. I have all these doors opening, and I got to go for them, and I can't. And I can't. Wow. And they don't know what to do with themselves. With this Knight of Pentacles, they know they have to do something. They just don't know what else to do but follow their heart. And I feel I feel like this is not the last time you're going to hear from this person, Cancer. I got to be honest. I feel like you're going to be hearing from this person for a while periodically. But the moon, I also feel like that's about the unknown. Like, they know they have to do something. They just don't know. They just don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm feeling with this. With those four of swords, the knight of swords, and the ace of pentacles in reverse. I really feel like, again, this break energy is really strong. Um coming through out of a period of break and saying hey I can't I can't give this a second shot
I know, this is brutal. Let's look at the Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, I'm gonna use Gilded for this one. And then we'll pull some advice. And guys, whoever you are in this situation, if you're the person getting left, or if you're the one telling the person, hey, I have a lot of opportunities, I have to take these opportunities, I can't give this a second chance, I can't do this again, um, it's time to move it's time to move on. Don't tell them that. Don't tell them that, Cancers. Don't say that. That's like, that's heart-wrenching, even as I said it. That's heart-wrenching. Don't say that to this person. Everything happens for a reason. And this person who's falling, this is a lesson learned to not put all your eggs in one basket and to prioritize themselves. Like I said, I swing a little bit of a codependent energy from this Five of Cups person. And again, Cancer, if this is you, again, I'm sorry, but it is a lesson of putting yourself first, no matter what kind of commitment or relationship you're finding yourself in. Okay? All right. Let's look at this Ace of Cups in reverse. Tell me about this Ace of Cups in reverse. For Cancer. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. It's that same person's energy of, I know I have to move on. I know I have to do something. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. So I have an Ace of Cups in reverse for, the, for Cancer. I almost said the partner. Yeah, Cancer, I really feel like this is someone that you're leaving behind. So I have an Ace of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. Tell me about Ace of Cups in reverse. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me about Ace of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Oh, I don't like where this person's taking this. E. Okay. Yeah, we have a Knight of Pentacles with a King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be Earth or um, Air. It's like, why was this so hard to come out? Earth or Air. Overall energy, we have the High Priestess. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Uh, this is interesting because I'm feeling a lot of like intuition here. Is it from them or from you? Because you're very intuitive, Cancer. This person feels like they know something. This person feels like they know something. I heard hard press, hard press. Cancer, like I said, this is not the last time you're hearing from this person. They're going to come at you again. But they're coming at you and they're looking at you like a king of uh, pentacles in reverse. And I don't like that energy. I do feel like it's a projection. If it's true, it's true, but I feel I do feel like it's a projection for most of you from this person. They're looking at you as very selfish. Very, very selfish. Are you being selfish? Well, you're you're chasing your opportunities down. Is that selfish? Maybe. I love it. <laughs> I don't know. I have a hard time feeling like that's a selfish thing, but because this person made you their only option like all eggs in one basket it's like they feel abandoned by you and they do feel like you are kind of being selfish and not sharing your opportunities with them but they feel like they know something they feel like they know something like a secret hold on i want to see what this is about um yeah we'll do kipper let's do it no 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 i take that back i take that back uh, let's use the legacy deck for this one tell me about that and then we'll pull some advice tell me about the high priestess what does this person think they know Tell me about the High Priestess. What does this person think that they know? Because I feel a little bit of a challenge with this, Cancer. It's like, they're not letting it go. They're not letting you go because they're in a state of desperation. And I don't want to say this person's desperate. They just don't know what to do. And what happens when we don't know what to do? We feel back into a corner and what happens? We, we react, right? We, we Our animal instinct kicks in and it's like, no. <laughs> I'm not going to be back to do a corner. I'm not going to be left not knowing what to do. So what do they do? They just keep kind of digging at the at the situation, okay? I do feel a little bit of a challenge here, Cancer. I do feel like they're challenging you on something. Almost like why the love is gone. 
Yeah, they think they know something. Okay, let's see, let's see. Tell me about the High Priestess. Tell me about the High Priestess for Cancer regarding love, September 1st to the 11th. You know, Cancer, I gotta be honest, like, they perceived you as coming in telling them, like, this is a no-go, I can't do this anymore, or we don't get a second run at this, uh, or another chance at this. They're, they're seeing you as t saying that in a Knight of Swords energy, which can be a little cold. It can be a little tactless. It can be a little blunt. You know, Cancer, they might feel like you treated them unfairly in this. Yeah, they might. Yeah, Cancer, however you delivered this line, again, it could be vice versa, but whoever delivered this line of this is a no-go, I got to go chase my opportunities, they're, they're being seen as someone who's very cold-hearted. Someone who's very cold-hearted, someone who's very selfish and very blunt and very tactless. But to be honest, Cancer, given the persistence by this person, you might have felt the need to be very firm with them to make sure that they heard you because they're coming in again challenging you. Challenging you as to why the love is lost and they feel like they know something. Time with the High Priestess. Let's see what this is about. All of a sudden, I feel like for some of you, this is like someone you dated and it's like, you, you you saw something you didn't like in them and you were like, no. And this person's not letting it go. Tell me about the High Priestess. Yeah, for some of you, it's just someone you dated. But others, this is like a long-standing commitment. Tell me about the High Priestess. For Cancer, regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. What does this person think they know? Tell me about the High Priestess. What does this person think they know? Tell me about the High Priestess. What does this person think they know? And again, I'm, I, that's the intention, right, that I'm setting because this person thinks they know something. It can be true or it could be false. Cancer, you would know if you're the one breaking this off with this person. They think they know this. Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Oh, this is sad, Cancer. World in reverse, fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Angels, Capricorn. They think that you don't really want this to end. And maybe you don't. Like maybe in your heart of hearts, you love this person and you don't want it to end, but you're doing what you have to do for you. And they, it's almost like they're gonna, it's almost like they think that they can bring this up as a bargaining chip. Okay, like, t oh yeah, Ten of Swords, pain, pain and endings. Yeah, that's how this feels. That's what they think they know. Knight of Wands, oh shit. Yeah, they're, they're challenging you, Cancer. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. They're gonna challenge you. They're gonna say, I know you don't really wanna leave me. I know that you love me. I know you don't really want this to end, so why end it? Let's do this. Let's do this. They're going to be very firm with you, Cancer. <sighs> I don't think you're going to expect it either. I don't think you're going to expect it, but I got to be honest. I don't like the way they're looking at you. They're looking at you very selfish, even while they're trying to use this as a bargaining chip. They're trying to play at your heart. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Because, Cancer, you probably do love them, but you're doing what's best for you. Like, you don't really, like, the love isn't really gone. I know you care about me. I know you don't want this to end. What's going to happen to me if this ends? You know, very, it's almost like a last-ditch effort, Cancer. They think that they can use that to reel you back in. Tell me about the High Priestess. Very consciously, by the way. Very consciously. Tell me about the High Priestess for Cancer regarding love. September 1st to the 11th. Overall energy, yeah. Three of Pentacles, Cap Energy, and then we have the Ace of Swords. Oh, and look, a King of Cups. Scorpionic Energy could also be Water or Air. Yeah, that's what they think they know. Cancer, they think that you really do want to work it out with them and that you really do love them. And again, you might, but you also want to chase down your opportunities and they're really going to try hard to make sure you don't leave. They're going to use this as a bargaining chip. Again, whether it's true or not. Oh, focus. Whether it's true or not whether it's true or not they think it's true and because they think it's true they're like okay i'm just gonna play at cancer's heart i'm gonna use this bargaining chip to make sure cancer doesn't leave me decide how you feel about that because you've told this person very forcefully about this okay so yeah decide how you feel about that let's get some advice from the spirit animal deck i don't i personally don't like that i think that's very manipulative to be honest with you i think that's very manipulative but that's just me. Any advice for my cancers? 
regarding the spread because this, again this person made you their whole world cancer while you were trying to live your life and you did and i have all these doors opening your ships are coming in and you want to focus on that but this person's still trying to it's almost like they want to stick with you and like well, your opportunities are my opportunities, you know, instead of creating their own opportunities. That creates a toxic codependent relationship. You don't need to be in a toxic relationship. Nobody does. Nobody does. And you know that deep down, Cancer. This person's going to try again. And they know exactly what strings to pull on you. It's funny. So we had Grasshopper Spirit come out, take the leap of faith, 30 breaking down to a three, but it came out reverse. And I never read these in reverse, but I feel like this is a warning, Cancer, of like, do not take the bait. I really feel that strongly. Don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. Let's see what else we got here. Any other advice for Cancers? Any other advice for Cancers? Oh, Let's see here. Oh, interesting. So we have dog dogfish dogfish dog spirit be loyal to what you love 19 cyclical energy so a closing of a cycle koi fish spirit there's always enough so in that codependent energy here 36 breaking down to a nine and butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful number 11 this is exactly what i've been saying be loyal to what you love self-love i'm getting self-love with this Koi for Spirit is about that scarcity mindset, which is directly connected to codependency and transformation. This person has to work on their self-love, their codependent issues, and that's going to help them transform. It's going to be rough, and we've all been there. The Cancers, if this person, if you, okay, Cancers, let me put it this way. If you want to come back to this person at some point in time, they need to be able to do what you did putting you first they need to learn to put themselves first be loyal to themselves love themselves and understand that yeah there are more fish in the sea okay there are more fish in the sea um and that there, you don't have to cling on to one person so intensely especially if you're not creating opportunities for yourself and that is the transformation this person needs okay oh boy Let's see what else we got here Cancers, I'm also getting this energy for you too a little bit. The opportunities coming your way are beautiful. You have a lot of amazing opportunities coming your way that can change your life, that can really change your life. And this is also a reminder to you to not hold on to this person when they come back with their bargaining chip, okay? Any other advice for my Cancers? Any other advice for my Cancers? Any other advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? overall oh yeah oh yeah cancers let it shine peacock spirit uh 46 which is again is another cyclical energy coming into a brand new cycle here at cancer because your doors are opening your opportunities are here it's time to stand in that light stand in that abundance and enjoy it and speak your truth and what you want and what you want are these opportunities and cancer like i said you've mulled this over and you might not really want to go there right because it's painful and it sucks and clearly this person's persistent and does not want to let you go but what's your truth your truth is if i can hold this up hold on that you can't really do this again because there's definitely been a break definitely there's been a break of some kind um and that you need to focus on you you need to be true to you and what's best for you and what's best for you is taking these opportunities what's best for this person is to grow and learn from this experience and love themselves a little bit more and not always put their eggs in one basket on one person and to invest in themselves not other people 333 33 33 okay cancer i guess that i don't envy you i don't envy you um but uh Anyway, Cancers, I think you know exactly what you need to do in this situation. You know your truth. It sucks for this other person. And Cancers, if you're this other person, I am sorry. This is a lesson a lot of us have to learn, okay? Investing in yourself, putting yourself first is always in your best interest and should be a priority, okay? Guys, I love you. I hope that this was helpful and insightful. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Cancers. Namaste.